Hello, my name is Tim, and I am going to be showing you some of my favorite tricks on the cutting room floor by Recovery Effects. So to start off with, it's got a nice kick drum coming from the braids. That's going straight into the mixer, and then I've got it split, and uh, I've got a signal coming into the cutting room floor, which I'm about to blend in. I want to note that the delay blend is all the way down on the cutting room floor, and just listen to what that sound is like. So we got like this overdrive thing going on, which is one of my favorite aspects of this module. Um, but let's bring some of that delay in. So we got a delay time. And here you'll see they've got a flutter and a wow, and they kind of speak for themselves. Now with the, uh, when you have the wow all the way up, it's pretty sweet to do a full blend. There's also a freeze knob here. It's a lot of fun. And as you can see, CV input. So let's put a quick trigger in there. Really changes the character of the whole module but in such a cool way. That's uh, one of my, another favorite aspect of this thing is that it's kind of a totally different beast whether or not you're using the CV in or not. Uh, the freeze <laughs> is pretty, the level knob really comes in handy when you have your blend all the way up and you want to use this freeze. You back that level down a little bit. So I stumbled across a cool usage of the CV input the other day. Sending a nice fat square wave into it. So right now I've got this square wave running into a VCA. And then um, just got a, a pretty simple pulse controlling that VCA. And then I've got a... LFO controlling the one volt per octave. Now watch what happens when you put this into the CV control. You mess with this chorus knob. So now I'm just messing with the delay or the LFO time here. Now, so take this, uh, take the square wave out of the VCA and just plug that guy straight in to the CV. Still got the LFO control in the one volt per octave. So that's pretty fun. Now if we take the LFO out of the one volt per octave, we can really start seeing some of the cool 8-bit effect you can get from running a square wave of VCO to the CV end of the cutting room floor.
Let's see what happens if you do just like a sine wave into it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Not much. So as you can see, different waveforms will give you different different uh, results. Uh, yeah, that's just a couple things you can do with this thing. Um, it's also really fun to split the signal out of this and put one through a filter and one straight into your mixer. Um, it's uh, pretty fun to um, put your out from this into a VCA. I don't need to tell you all the different cool things that you can do with it now. Um, yeah, so pick it up. It's a lot of fun.